So Joe, we're a couple of days away now from the Leicester City FA Cup game at Ronnie Parade. Um, what are your thoughts before the match going into it? Uh, it's, it's a you know it's a big game for us to to look forward to. It's going to be a, a great occasion. Um, we know what our fans. Um, how they turn out for the games like this, like, as they did last season. Uh, last season. Um, so it's going to be a full house, a great atmosphere, and yeah, all the players are very much looking forward to it. Fantastic. And you, you mentioned the fans there. How important is it? You know, we speak of you were involved last season, Spurs, uh, Leeds as well. Both fa both fantastic occasions. How is it? How important are the fans going to a game like this? Yeah, they're massive. You know, they're going to be the twelfth man for us. Um, they can you know push us on to, to you know uh, a level beyond our normal. Um, Sort of that we play at just because of the occasion. We know they, they help us um, bring the best out of us, if you like. So um, yeah, it's massive. You know, it's, it's an occasion for everyone to enjoy. You know, it's, it's a break from the league. Um, and yeah, when you're playing against opposition like Leicester, it puts Newport on the map. Brilliant. And if you did have a, a message for the fans, uh, if you they were all, all the massive Hazel Terrace standing in front of you right now, what would you say to them? You know, bring your loudest voice with you. Get behind the boys and enjoy yourselves. So, Jamil, a couple of days now before the huge Leicester City Emirates FA Cup third round clash, Rodney Parade. What are your thoughts before the game? Are you getting excited for it? Um, definitely, yeah. Um, it's obviously one of those where we can um, take our folks off the league a little bit and you know look forward to what is, I think, all everyone at this level loves playing against a Premier League team. So, it's something that I'm definitely looking forward to. Um, you know, the message is obviously, obviously our family and friends all. For the last couple of weeks since the draw got made, so um, yeah, really look forward to it. Fantastic. And you weren't involved last season with the squad, you know, Tottenham Hotspur came to Royal Parade, there was, a, there was an upset there, the squad securing the draw at Wembley. Leeds United came down as well, a historic game, beating yeah. them 2 1. Are you taking a little bit off the players that were in the squad last season, a little bit of experience maybe to be shared? A little bit, yeah, I think it's the lads have spoke about it a little bit um, from, from last year's experiences, and I remember actually watching the um, Tottenham game, the first leg. Um, here and and I was actually hoping that like, the club. I'm not just saying this because I'm here at the club now, but I'm actually hoping they'd, they'd win because I'm an Arsenal fan as well. So um, I remember it going quite late and they were still one nil up, and I thought they'd. I thought like, well, we'd pull it off. I, I suppose at the time, um, obviously unlucky not to, but then they got the replay. Um, so you know, it, it, it was myself watching almost in a jealous position as well because the club I was at last year, we got knocked out. I think it was in the first round. So. Um, I think it was something that we, we looked to make sure we try to achieve again this year, get to the third round and hoping to get a Premier League team and you know, luckily um, we've managed to do that. Fantastic. And go into the game, obviously it's a Roddy Parade, uh, it's this Sunday. Um, if you were to have a message for the fans, you know, they've been so amazing this season already, what would that be? I think um, just come down and enjoy it. Um, you know, it's, it's, obviously it's happened last year with, with a Premier League team coming down, another one coming down this year. but. It might not be something that happens that often um, in the league where we are at the minute, but I hope they savour it, savor it uh, come and enjoy it and come and support the boys and try and, um, you know, anything can happen in football, so why should we not dream and try and believe in what we can do? Fantastic.